channel this is HP supercharge 2SS LS3 welcome to project cars number two PlayStation 5 all right here we go yeah it's just been a while since I haven't been doing any project cars too I've been mostly uh, you know, sticking with Gran Turismo 7, you know, but today I decided to go back into Project Cars 2, you know, you, you, you gotta keep up with all the different formats, you know, but anyway, right here, oh, oh, man, God, I just got hit, golly, well, anyway, uh, we are here at uh, Circuit of the Americas, yeah, uh, based in uh, Austin, Texas. Yeah, this is one of the. Oops, sorry, didn't mean that. Popular, popular racetracks. Uh, uh, somewhat, possibly the newest track. But this this layout is pretty cool, especially when you're driving these particular IRL cars. Yeah, they're uh, similar to the F1s, except these are American-based. They are pretty quick, 
the steering is outrageous I love it I mean it's very sensitive I mean you you have to be always on par you know when you in your in your steering because uh, it's oops sorry it was too close there well oh I just got a penalty so I'm gonna let this guy I uh, have to let him pass me then I could pass him back <laughs> but anyway uh yeah uh, driving these cars are are pretty fun yeah you know I mean they're, uh, they're more t technical very technical I mean uh, this, like I said uh, the steering is like triple 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 power strong power steering <laughs> that's you know that's I think that's how, in my opinion that's how it feels like but man once you get once you get used to driving these vehicles oh my god you can do a lot of things but anyway uh, you know with the uh, with the cool steering capabilities of these cars then you have to think about the tires oh my god the tires they s slide here and there or everywhere you know I mean and plus you know with the track layout if there's any loose rubber yeah they're broken particles of tire wear they are rolled up and shaped into like little marbles that causes bad road conditions even that leftover rubber on the on the tracks be careful of course once your tires hit those things or even if you hit on the rumble strips this the car will just get off balance and you'll end up being somewhere else if you if you're not careful but uh, the the braking is so precise you know I mean even if just one little tap you know you, 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 the car already slows down so 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 quickly you know now if you lean on the brake oh my god you're gonna power slide like crazy but anyway just uh, sit back and enjoy the race I started way in the back as you notice from the beginning of this simulation yeah I started slow but you know with, with the experience of race simulating you, you get used to it you know and especially like I said dep depending on what kind of car you're driving like, like this IRL car it has great great throttle response and pickup yeah it could catch up I mean God well anyway just, just sit back and enjoy the race all right oh if you also notice there's like a two versions of the first person view one is the helmet cam and the other one is the cockpit cam so they're about similar but you can see the difference Damn, messed up on the shifting there.
Oh man, late braking. That's not good. Oh man, bad entering on the apex and not enough steering. Jeez. Oh boy, he noticed that tire screeching and everything? That means the car is sliding and I'm losing grip. Golly. Oh boy. There are some areas which are my favorite, like this section here. This is one section I do pretty good. Once, you know, when I'm on par my steering, I'm good in this section here. And here's another section that I like here too. That I could actually get some good throttle response and start to catch up. And this section here, this area going to the grandstand is perfect areas for great maneuvering and passing. Yeah, if you time it just right and you have a good throttle response and a good pickup speed, you could do it in this area here, all the way to the top. Oh, right here, this is where I had some bad steering. And I was already catching up to those guys in front of me. That would have been a great setup. Because when I stayed behind those guys, I could have passed them in my favorite sections where I uh, pointed out. Yeah, what, what could you do? Driver error. You have to always stay focused. Boy. Best second two times so far today.
damn it, there I go again, bad steering, jeez. Okay, I didn't lose any momentum, so I'm staying with him. I'm gonna make my move. Yeah, I'm gonna set him, set him up. something here I'm gonna do some late braking maneuvering and make a pass right here just right uh, 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 yes 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 oh, oh, oh yeah oh yeah nice Let's see if I can catch up to those guys in front of me. Oh man. If I can finish a top five, I'll be good. But wait. Do I have time? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Oh boy, could I do it? God, I almost got it. Oh man, final and last lap. Oh boy, come on, come on.
I gotta do it. This is where I gotta do it. Yeah. Yes! Man! Fantastic! All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed my uh, race simulation here in uh, Project Cars 2. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been on Project Cars 2. But, you know, I still have it. <laughs> um, well, uh, to be honest with you, there is a difference between uh, a race simulator and then Gran Turismo 7. I mean, it is a race simulator, it's just there's different, uh, the format, the, uh, the real racing simulator, like this one here, it's totally different. I mean, the, the schematics, there, there's there's a slight little difference. I mean, they're, they're almost close. I mean, the graphics, uh, they're almost, you know, you may say the same, but Gran Turismo 7 is better. But when it comes to racing uh, characteristics and the, the, the simulation of real racing, Project Cars 2 has that is better you know there's more adjustments you know and uh, the cars are more precise but like I said uh, Gran Turismo 7 you know Gran Turismo they they've always been focusing on real quality graphics a real nice looking scale car you know make it like the real deal well on PC racing and uh, simulation racing that they they try to get close enough but they're m mainly focusing on real racing characteristics that's the only difference but they're both good if you if you can race in those two different formats that's good it's, it's good for you all right Again, this is HP Supercharged 2SS LS3. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next trial run. Please subscribe. Alright, later.